Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. I've been very curious as to how much twist this wingtip gets when we're flying into a turn. So we're going to go out and look at that. I think I've aligned the camera good enough where we can get a good look at that. So let's go out and see what happens. Okay, now we start off moving, and as we start to move into just a little bit of a headwind here, we notice how that trailing edge starts coming up back on the inboard and then as we start accelerating notice how that whole trailing edge raises up quite a bit we rotate about 60 miles an hour notice how that trailing edge is quite a bit higher than when it was on the ground that's a little bumpy today so note how the wing absorbs those bumps by flexing okay so what we're going to do is we're going to reset our baseline for flight there are many complicated factors involved in a flex wing turning. But we're going to simplify here and look at two factors. One, we're getting a twist change in the wing as we move our weight and load it. And two, as we increase the load on that wing in a turn, that's also bringing that trailing edge up. So what we can see here is that the twist changes as we turn, not necessarily uniformly across the complete trailing edge. How much is it actually moving is the next question. We're going to do a crude form of measurement here. Here we have a 2x4, which is for some reason they make 2x4s 3.5 inches, but we've got a 3.5 inch 2x4 here. So what we're going to do is put that up against here so we can get a visual of what three and a half inches looks like at all the different locations. Now, of course, the further you get, we get away from the camera, the smaller this is going to look. So, okay, we'll just go back one more time here. There's three and a half inches out here. Moving it in. Of course, it's looking bigger as we move in. Here, where of course it's going to look the biggest, and even we'll get one right there if we need to. Well, there we go. So now we have some crude form of measurement for determining how much this moves down. Now that we have our three and a half inch reference markers, now we can at least make some estimate of how much that trailing edge is really moving up and down. Therefore, we can look at how much twist in degrees we're going to be getting from that airfoil as we roll. And we started off here with some gradual turns. Now we're going to do some uh, steeper bank turns. It's about a 45 degree bank right there. We're rolling right back to another 45. Back to level. And so we're just going to watch this a little bit, observe that trailing edge. Now you can also notice that a lot of times as we increase speed, the wing tip goes up a little bit more because we're giving that more of an opportunity to provide lift as we increase our speed. So overall, what I'm seeing is about three inches total up and down movement at the tip and about four inches total movement up and down at the wing mid-range. Now, this three inches at the tip would equate to 12 degrees total twist change, or six degrees up and six degrees down from neutral. When we look at our four inches movement up and down at the mid-range, that equates to six degrees total movement, or three degrees up and down from neutral. So to summarize, we've got three degrees plus or minus at mid-span, and six degrees plus or minus at the tips. And that makes sense because as we go towards the tips, we get more twist change.
and there we can see a nice touchdown as that wing unloads so there we go there's a more detailed look at the weight shift control aircraft This was filmed in my Yellow Bandit, a Revo 912S with a Rival S wing. This is Paul Hamilton. Come fly with me.